So here we are today at the shoot of our new RTW Bridal Collection. This new collection is really meaningful for me because I actually decided to work with my real bride. I feel like at this time in my career, I want my brides to really be part of my brand. It's not just about the brand, it's our relationship, working together, building friendship. Actually, ang saya kasi parang naging kaibigan ko na talaga silang lahat. And now while we're shooting, I really feel so happy looking at them kasi they're really happy. Another special thing about this shoot is all the suppliers I'm working with are women. So the reason behind it is because since last year, you know how things have been. It's been really tough, difficult, para ang gulo -gulo na. This year naman, para I just want to show people that for us to be able to get through everything, we have to support each other. And I think the best way for us to do it is Satan mga babae, we have to start learning how to support each other. Realize that the best way we can all make it is by supporting each other. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this episode and I really hope that you get inspired, especially for all the brides to be. I always imagined the planning to be something that uh, will be dreamy and all that. And then the pandemic hit. You know, planning a wedding during a pandemic is really different. It's challenging. Everything is done virtually. It's actually been really hard to plan a wedding. The pandemic did not make things any easier. The hardest adjustment for us actually was deciding to downsize our wedding because of course we would have wanted all our loved ones to be there, but not by the guidelines. Siguro cut down namin, siguro 50 packs pa lang babawas from original number of people of 200. Yung year talagang to, parang ang dami talagang naging hindrances. People are doing Zoom. At least now we have internet. We do a Zoom meeting with our family, uh, with our mothers. Of course, it was very painful that they could not be there with us. So we have mixed emotions right now. It actually gives people like me, brides to be, a fresh perspective on what to prioritize, right? And at the end of the day, of course, we're looking forward to spending the rest of our lives together and with the person you love the most. <laughs> if you're a bride, you know you have to choose what you really want, what kind of dress. But sometimes you question yourself, bagay ba talaga sa akin? Or sometimes you question a lot of things. When you think about making your wedding dress, it's not enough just to pick a nice one from a catalog. You really need to have someone to take care of you, like personal care, and someone to talk to, someone to listen to all your dream. More than the output, parang what's important is the relationship with your designer. And when I visited Pat, I saw parang kaya niya ng super beaded, which she is known for, and then kaya niya ng super soft. Her creations are really ethereal, they're really beautiful, very dainty, very feminine. Feminine, sexy, sophisticated, but really, really classy. When I first saw the sketch, okay, this is it. And especially during the fittings, it was really like a breeze working with Pat and the team. She encouraged me, she said, you know what, if you want to be the most beautiful bride on your special day, then you should go for it. That really helped me um, in preparing my for my wedding uh, because like, she's been helping me to get the best suppliers, which ones are the best for the wedding. Um, I really love how she treats each client as um, a friend. Like, um, nandun talaga yung relationship. Pat kasi is very maalaga, so okay din yun na ganun siya at hindi lang yung talagang bride and then client relationship. Parang it, it's beyond the bridal gown or yung my dream wedding gown. I really felt like Pat would go the extra mile. She's actually not just a wedding designer for me. We became friends and both our fiancés are now good friends as well. Pat inspires me kasi parang she doesn't look at women na with their size, just their personality. She makes every every girl and every bride that 
comes in this Atelier Beautiful. Siguro bonus na lang din that we became friends throughout all of this. I found that she's so down to earth, like hindi wala wala siyang air of like the designer to the celebrities. Apart from finding a designer, I was really glad to just find a friend, especially in this in the middle of this pandemic where we're all feeling a little bit lonelier. I love Pat's designs because it really brings out the confidence and and the inspiration to want to get married and this has just made me a lot more emotional about you know getting married and um, it never really hit me till today one of my brides is actually pregnant um, the story behind that is um, she was supposed to get married in September so we made her gown already but sadly we, she wasn't able to wear it because she had a pandemic and she had to change plans. So she just decided to do a civil wedding. So just to make her happy that she still got her moments, now we're shooting her. <laughs> I definitely have something that belonged to me that reminds me of my love with my husband, reminds me of this beautiful time in my life. And that's it, just make me happy. <laughs> So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Gabi na, matutulog na ako. The joke lang. This is our last outfit. I'm really happy because I never thought that this would be possible. And thank you to my brides for taking the time to shoot with us. And sobrang saya kasi all my other brides were able to bond as well. Thank you to the amazing suppliers who helped me make this happen. You guys are the best. Cha Kim of Spotlight Creatives. Ina Trinidad, Teresa Padin, 205BGC, Style Vets Co, Vera and Carla for the hair. You guys are amazing. I love you. Thank you so much. That's it for today. You guys have to go. Bye bye. Magsasara na yung shop ko. Kota na kami. Bye. Oh, love. Yeah, matutulog na talaga kami, guys. Bye bye. Let's go, love.